Greetings, hello and welcome back to the second episode of our new Long War of the Chosen campaign. We're desperately trying to get an Illyrium Core. Um, and we're smashing and grabbing a little Advent bit. forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. Alright, so supply crate extraction mission. Confirmed. What is there to know? So um they will start extracting supplies once you break consignment. So take it slow. Pumped up and good to go. There's a you need to throw your own evac. There is a fixed reinforcement timer also. How do I run in heels? Faster than you, that's for sure. It's twelve crates on the mission, and um, you need at least four crates in order to in order for this mission to be counted as a success. Like not for you, of course, for yourself internally. You want to have twelve crates, otherwise it's a total failure. But for the game, four crates is enough. Now, I don't want to engage this drone here. You know, our assault is caught now in its detection radius. Ideally, I want to open up with a good old flamethrower on a group of advent dudes. Man, I miss that vulture. So we're gonna hope that the drone does not come all the way around here and reveal me. Uh, either way, we're gonna... Not here, okay, bring Let's here. Let's shuffle away in that direction. There is my my ambush target. Let's make these guys sorry they show more or less. It's hoping for a group of three. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. I don't see the drone, so I'm not sure where I can safely move. So I probably wanna let's move Mooney back. I depart. Give me line of sight. So now I know where I can move. I can move this way. Come over. The oh. war. Whoa. Heading out. Sure thing. Old times. Yeah, like two enemies, is that really what I want to be happy with here? Let us move. I'm not so sure yet. But depending on if they move like perfectly to this position or so, then we're just gonna flame throw them. You can count on me. Sometimes I'm scaring myself of how accurate I can be in predicting enemy movement. Um, ah, let's just do this. Go in a hostel. Did not get a burn on the officer and only two damage. How's uh Disappointing results. Any shortcuts? Let's go. Should have surrendered when you could. He should have. He should have surrendered when he could. Moving to position. They never do. 
You still concealed, so you give us some info. They should not be alerted uh, to anything here. So the good old crate tactic, it's the same thing basically what you do in vanilla, you don't mark crates unless you are moving on, you know, and just I'm, I'm past this. Or unless you're overwriting advent marking a crate. Do not test my patience. So, this way by not marking this, advent mark this, so we're not in a position where we have to dash somewhere, somebody. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand this is the, the pickup. only one who can get that crate here. It means I would have to give up my concealment. Think about that one. We move you up. On the move. Not liking that. But I'm at least I'm not activating the drone, okay. Sounds like a plan. So take a quick stop here. Mark that, move there. Get moving. Inside the van. Alright, I think we're gonna move. They have somebody in position to grab that crate next turn. And I too too much focus on getting other crates. So we're gonna break concealment here. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Now, we don't know there was a group in the back. The path leads this See if that triggers them. It's not. Ah, we need a full evac. High time we set sail. It's this is almost, almost too late. Hold tight. Agreed. Heading out. Yeah, Advent's gonna mark again next turn. So I think I don't want to engage anybody. Actually think I'm gonna bring you over here. Roll. So that way you do have some rocket launch opportunities. Yeah, that crate, I'm not even sure where it is, but that's probably out of out of the question here. Well, that happened. 
Yes, Mooney is the only one who can theoretically get that crate. We got one drone here, that's three. These two dudes, five, and my, the drone in the back, six enemies. So there's still a lot of people, I don't know where they are. But I'm not gonna return here, so mark that. Gonna be moving on with our lives. Read those guys. Count me in. All right. That might just be the rocket I was looking for. You ain't feeling a thing. Maybe it wasn't. We've got combat rush going because of there's something in the air. Uh, also, I forgot about this crate. Yeah, no, we, we need to get this one. So we can't get this one. I stand ready. It leaves you. You don't have a shot on the drone, so you're probably just gonna flashbang these two guys. Or we go for a grenade. Fifty-fifty chance to kill the guy up in the, here, and then a slightly lower chance to kill the other guy. Both of them got one loot destroyed again. That seems to be our path for course at the moment. Just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Alright, so at this point, the timers are getting a little bit close to finished. Because we can't just be um, strategic about the Ooh, next turn is a marking turn, so let's let's hold back this turn. Now we need to find the last group. We need to mark the crates that we want to get, and then get out of here. I depart. I found my prey. All right, found the last enemies. Fortunately. Out of range of pretty much everything. So we might just have to do a... No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be in, in, in half cover against them, even if I flashbang them. Can't slice them, alright, so you gotta... We just come in. We 
You have to Bright summer day. up this crate. It's tile counting time. If I'm on the roof, they are three, four, five, six. six. If, if he moves to this corner, he can see me here on the roof. Barely, I think. It's exactly 17 tiles. 17 tiles is the vision and thereby also shooting range of all enemies. This should then be safe. Probably gonna just drop you down back here. Break line of sight. Alternatively, get you in here, that we can maybe flamethrow them. Yeah, let me get and Mooney drops back in here. Alright, so if enemies see one person in your squad, they know where everybody is, except for concealed people or people in shadow. If they don't see anybody, they don't know where I am. So that's. If you want to break line of sight with the enemy, you have to do it with everyone. Shit. So, that was a double move by the officer. No idea where the engineer is. the officer here. Yeah? We should be able to flamethrower the engineer. You can run for that crate. And you can slice the officer three to five damage. Exactly liking it. Alternatively, it's done gun the officer from up here, and then Brass goes for this crate. There a magical angle where I can get both? No. I'll let's put it this way. So I'm going to try for, for the slice here. If it doesn't work, I can either throw a grenade here with Mooney, or probably that's the safer option. And give up this crate, or stun gun and give up that crate. We could just get the kill. No, not getting the kill. Lots of chance that this doesn't set this guy on fire. Then we have two problems. Alright, we got the burn. Ooh, there's one other alternative. Down here, get this crate. That's better. Run and gun, get back up here. Go on. This crate, stun gun. Got him. 
I'm not giving up crates. A clever ploy. Well, not any more than the one we already did. Nice cover. Nice cover there, buddy. I cannot slash him even though he's next to me. That's silly. I can evac in one turn here, so you can just shoot him or something. Only the best. I'm running low on ammo. That. Just how many people do I have to kill to get a legendary to drop? And I suppose one run back. And run back. Uh, there's still the drone in the back. I don't think it's gonna come for us. I found my prey. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. You can make it out. You can make it out. And you can make it out. Eleven crates, no wounds. I'm taking it. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Pretty sure I saw that on an album cover decades ago. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. I'm glad to see our troops finding success in the field. It's good for the entire crew's morale. All right. Um, so let's take the promotions where I already know what I'm going to do. So you're going to be standard gunner. You're going to be standard-ish assaults. On flame attack with you. So let's let's talk about um, Breslin here, right? With his 77 aim. Like aim, you don't need high alley aim for sword stuff, but it certainly helps. Um, what usually pushes me in direction of a shooting build, shooting build uh, ranger is like fit and run, hunter's instincts. Rapid fire. Like this is this is your bread and butter of your shooting. But everything else doesn't really matter. Uh, you're always taking combatives on a shinobi because this way you can neutralize a bunch of melee enemies. Um, so yeah, what really pushes me into a melee spec is if I see something like lethal or. Um, center mass, so which increases your base damage of your weapon. Because you're shooting a lot, you're shooting three times already with hit and run and rapid fire. Might grab some pistol skills and then you're shooting even more often. So we don't have that. We do have locked on, which gives us more accuracy, more crit chance with our primary weapon. Um, with lock and load to keep us supplied. Keeping in mind that's 49, I think, and 42 AP that we can actually spend. So we're not getting that much down here, right? So maybe 
What really sucks is we are at 13 mobility. If we're going shooting, then we're carrying a rifle. So with a full loadout, we had 10 mobility. And I think that's, at that point, you've got hit and run, but you're too slow to actually get any flanks. So um, let's bury the, bury the shooty shinobi dream. And we just go in box standard melee build. And probably picking up combat fitness to help with the mobility. Probably also gonna get a mobility PCS later on, but yeah, combat fitness is gonna help. Um, yeah, and if we have some points to spare, then maybe dedication. All right, and we got a random promotion here. So at this point, we don't have to, you know, try to play little tricks in order to get the perfect promotion. So we're just going to click the button, get another gunner with decent aim. Fantastic. Apex. Oof. Make up your mind. Are you an Apex Predator or just a Predator? Flash gunner, you say, huh? I... I want, I want to do this, but there's nothing else that in any way improves your combat life. But maybe we're just picking it up because there's not much else worth picking up here. Uh, yeah, okay. Predator, Predator's pretty good. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Now, I did mention in my channel update that I want to do um, like a little bit more uncommon or, or less popular builds. It's mostly about getting an Overwatch Ranger, getting um, maybe a auto targeting sharpshooter if I've done rarely. What else? Maybe we're going to try a snapshot sniper. Oh, I really don't want to promise anything there. Um, what else was I thinking of when I was, was saying that? Yeah, Rocket Technical. I want to lean heaven, heavily into um, grenades, like offensive grenade technical, uh, um, grenadiers instead of support. That's kind of the stuff I was thinking of. Right. So we can find some good missions here. I think though, in order to not lose too much time, we're gonna do a quick trip to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Grab that scientist so that we uh like the sooner you get in, the sooner they start helping with the research. So if we gonna wanna go Psionics early. We need two scientists. That was number one. Number two, we get in 11 days. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. Let's find those new missions that are here. Um, let's throw somebody in here, actually. Um, you have good willpower. Alright, second set of missions. We've got a jailbreak here. Well, we're gonna do this either way. Commander, I'm getting faint traces of a signal coming through. Someone on the ground is trying to reach us, but I can't make it out. Keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there. We're two rebels, one rookie, and we've got resistance contacts, another chance to get more um more things and stuff. Yes, uh, more supplies, it is. Alright, so that is an objective that includes hacking, so I think we're gonna bring our specialists. Maybe time to see a little bit. Fairly certain Paulo is tired. 
yeah, not being able to bring out Grenadier for the second set of missions sucks, but what can you do? Not waste so much time on Gatecrasher, I guess. Yeah, I think we're taking this bond. Yeah, I need to press that button then. Grab a bond photo, leave the two of you in here. So that's a good baseline for this squad. Who else do we bring, if anyone? We've got two gunners. I think we should definitely bring one of our gunners. Let's bring Mooney here. Who are you trying to bond with? No, we're not doing gunner-gunner bond. That's an interesting interesting idea, but dinner Um, Alright. We keep double grenades? Yeah, sure. You've got, you've got the mobility. I want to start leveling a sharpshooter, but probably not on a jailbreak. Like, I don't mind later on, once you have a stock. Probably a stock is all you need, then you can bring sharpshooter on any missions, but before that, there are a few missions where I say, eh, maybe not. Get our ranger. And let's get one more rookie where we don't mind them getting a random promotion. Like we could keep Andy for GTS training so that we have another 70 aim train him into a sharpshooter. That might be a good push choice here. Um, I want to have a brief eye. If you look there under the, the portrait on the left, you see the um, the psionic score of people. Like Vivi here, I want to keep her back for psionic training. Definitely 34. I think 35 is the maximum you can get. Uh, Christina is going to be psionic. Amy is, I'm gonna say, like, size score is relevant for insanity, mind control, and uh, whatever that mind merge. Because those are the only skills where it's important to have a high size score. So 23 is not the end of the world. Especially with the 55 aim, that's maybe a good candidate. But she's also a good candidate to become a technical grenadier, anything like that. Yeah, I think we're gonna bring Daniela here. A, bit, a little bit of a longer timer, so we can actually bring six people here easily. Um. Gonna go, even though I like to shoot target of the double grenade SMG approach, but we have enough shooting power here with three people already that we don't need another shooter. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. So, we've got eight more days to get an Ethereum core. Go to sector autopsy now, then we need the core. I, I think I'm gonna gamble with it. It might set us behind on our attack here. Though I was never
So we really want to find that second mission. Yeah, there we go. It's a scientist. Oh, always nice to see a lawyer show up, especially if she's a scientist on the on the campaign. Um, all right, my explosives. Yeah, I would never blow anything up. Don't worry, Shan. Commander, I've got trace chemical hey, readouts throughout fine. the area, Don't worry. showing a mix Don't of worry. volatile compounds. If we're not careful, that whole place could end up on fire. Did a quick autofill squad here. Get all our promoted people in there. Uh, something about setting the whole place on fire. Happy to oblige. Rescue VIP from vehicle. That's that's a rough one for a sharp shooter. Uh, you do have decent ability, so you might just be a glorified rookie who doesn't shoot and throws two grenades. But I wanna I wanna get you in missions. I wanna get you level up. What? I'm gonna leave our salt in the haven for now. Because I wanna have a haven advisor in there while we are out scanning for other missions or making contact and all that other stuff. So let's check who we're gonna bring here. Um, of the rookies. 35. Yeah, corrections. Can get a random promotion. I don't want to hold back too many for side training, but also, like, the last time I did it, I ended up just having four people for side training, and that felt, like, not enough. I think we are taking the 29 here. Yeah, let's take Contra, because that's another I don't care what you get kind of position. Um, okay. Then, what are we doing here? I'm gonna get you the whole double grenade SMG treatment. I'm gonna ditch one flashbang here. So, mobility, right? Let's talk briefly about mobility. Um, you need 1.5 points of mobility to move one tile on the map. Which, I don't know why they did it this way, don't ask me, but okay. So, there are certain breakpoints where you gain an additional mobility. So, going by removing that grenade, and now at 12 mobility, which is exactly 8 tiles. Um, which is um, preferable here. So that's why we did that. You're 12, you're 12. 12 is kind of where I want to be on a mission. At least, right? So I think we're just going to go here again with SMG's grenades. We don't have any hacker for that truck that we need to hack to get our scientists out of there. Well, that's a really good, uh, good find. Getting a mission for a scientist means I say I don't I need to cool. buy the other scientist. Again, yeah, still, we're still hoping for the uh, Ilium core. I don't think there was an Ilium core to buy in the black market. But yeah, so um, just as before, in the first month on Legend difficulty only, Legend only, there's two missions that you can find per mission cycle. So we found the most missions, that means we're gonna go into recruit mode again. Um, Avenger plotting new course. Just gonna pick up those supplies. Because otherwise, they would expire in six days. Strategic resource located. So I'm a little bit um, on the fence on whether or not I want to finish making contact here. So the, if we 
When we finish making contact, that's the moment when missions spawn in this second region. Right. So, the problem is... Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming that, that's in. one problem, yeah. We need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. No, I, I kind of went tall instead of wide with our barracks, right? So all of our experienced people are out on a mission. So if we... Well, almost all. Wallow's tired, and our hero is working as a Haven advisor. I'm not gonna send a full rookie squad out. So since I'm playing with the idea of... Um, of the whole scything... We might just prepare the contact here, but not complete it until the second month. Uh, what's the time on those missions? 5 days, 12 hours, 6 days, 3 hours. Yeah, we might just, we might just do the, exactly that. Um, so we should be good to scan here until this is cleared. That's what the pause on recruit is for. Okay, so we're not gonna start building a GTS, even though normally really like to get that going. Uh, that's near the center one. Well, this is like now really close to getting finished. Setting course for West Asia. We're actually going to scan here, because, again, scanning in the Haven doesn't do anything. There's no more missions to find. Um, we've got all our people out, so I don't want to make finish the contact. We're kind of basically giving up on finding two more missions, which, you know, is not ideal, but um, I'm rolling with it now. Right, never room cleared. So we've got the money almost all the money we need for a side app. Okay, six hours. So I wanna switch our, our people back to Intel. Uh, when there's about one day left on the timer here. Ready back to Intel, because it takes a while. I think you don't get any Intel on the first tick. Um, let's see here. Scanning here. Setting course Fly over here. 15, West Asia. And then we're good to go. So ideally, you know, um, we're gonna run those missions, find new missions, set them up, finish making contact here, and then start finding missions here. Might not 100% work out. All right, but for now, getting ready for this jailbreak, seven to nine enemies with a full squad of six people. Trying to over level a little bit our attack, our skirmisher, well, pretty much everyone we can. And yeah, we'll see how that goes, but we'll see that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, see you next time.